What's up guys? So today in this video, I wanted to show you a little bit about marketing planning and a little bit about content management, content asset management, as well as a little bit of marketing project management and what my best practices that I've seen through working with many companies, what those are. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help people build their information systems. So that's stuff in like Airtable, Asana, Slack, communication systems as well as the stuff that connects us to like Zapier and Integramat. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description to request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. All right, so as you can see up here, this is an asset management database. Now this is for social media, so specifically the platforms, Facebook and Instagram. And you can actually go find this exact template on Airtable in the Airtable universe. It might actually be in like just the Airtable base templates under marketing. If you find this one, you can use this exact same thing and have the same data as well. And this is something that's great for nearly all businesses. If you want to really organize your marketing, a lot of people, they kind of post whenever they can and it's not all organized in the same place. And so if you're considering building a marketing team or if you already have a team, but it's not managed well enough, like the assets in particular, maybe the people are managed very well. Well, this, this is something that could be really useful to you. And I wanted to talk about this in combination with a project management system like Asana. Now I'm not gonna show an Asana in this video, but I can describe what it should look like based on what's up here. So if you have something like this, and this is actually the system that I recommend to nearly all my clients is using Airtable as an asset manager and then using a different project management software because Airtable is great and it can do a lot of things, but as for integrations, uh, software that's specifically made for project management like Asana, it's going to really take you to that next level and you'll be able to, to really grow your marketing department, grow your social accounts, grow your email list, grow everything if you have all of this stuff organized and you can properly access some of the data in here that we're, you're gonna, we're going to be going through. You can access it to repurpose it or to just know what you posted when. If something gets taken down, maybe you need to create a new account and you want to repurpose some stuff to grow back your audience. So you can see really all of that. And especially if you have something like this, but maybe if you have a YouTube channel or if you have some other types of social media, there's a lot of times you can directly link the analytics pages. So like maybe for your blog writing or SEO or that kind of stuff, you can pull in analytics. You can run scripts automatically in your Airtable database. If you came up here and went to like the apps or the automations, depending on what, then you could run scripts and get like actual data pulled in from those live sites. So this is just a little teaser. If you want something really custom to what you want, then I would suggest requesting a consultation in the description. If you really want something that's going to really be good for your business. But this is an example of how you would use one of these templates. So right here we have two tables. We have posts and we have assets. Now you can see some of these images. They're, they're like the same as the images on this table. And so you might be like, okay, that's kind of interesting. And the reason for that is because those are lookups. So there's just a link right here to the asset. And they this company, it appears that they just keep reusing assets. And I think this is a okay way to do it if this is what you want to do. Now, a lot of people, they might have like a unique asset for each post, which in this case, you wouldn't be doubling up any of these assets on any different post. And you would instead have an attachment field here. Now, I think this kind of a table is really good for copywriting. And so for your copywriting, so like your image text or your Facebook post text or your email text or ad text, you can manage ads, really any of this stuff. I think it's really good to have a database like this where you can see Okay, this went out on this day. Maybe I want to take all of these that are the same type and you could maybe sort it by everything that I posted on Instagram. Maybe now in this next month, I want to put it on Facebook. So you maybe have your copywriter adjust it a little bit, adjust the call to actions, and you can do that. That call to action comment brings me to another point. You might want to have another table in here where you have common call to actions, and then you can add another linked field in here where you link each post to a certain call to action and you can see okay for this call to action i've had this many people for this call to action i've had this many people etc etc now another great thing for this kind of a database is if you want to combine this with your project manager 
then it's very easy to create views for the people working on your team. So even if you're still using it as an asset manager, you can give people views if they have something to work on. So maybe something's still in progress and only one person needs to be doing that in progress, or maybe it's just assigning tasks to someone. You can provide that kind of a thing in a database like this very easily. So say you have multiple different tables up here and you essentially want to create a table where you have assignments. So say you're writing like SEO writing. You could just have a form where you have multiple fields up here, like you have a linked field where you pick the call to action, you have a keywords table where you link to the keyword that you want the writer to write about. You have another table that maybe has all the panes of the writer or of the ideal client avatar, and you can link to that. And then you can say, okay, now writer, this is your turn. Take all of these things that I connected we want a Facebook post that has these panes for our customer. We want it to use these keywords. We want it to have this call to action. Please go write this. And then they'll go write it, come back. And then you can also have your review all process. So like you could have it in the status here, like up to Ben to review for, for this example. Like maybe it's on me to review it or whatever you have in your business. So that can be another really great way to use this is to give people specific views and then allow them to just go update with like the link or even just create the link. Say, as soon as I enter a record in here in my copywriting table, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that trigger an automation in Zapier and it's gonna create a Google Doc and it's gonna add that Google Doc link to this final URL here and that's where they'll write it. They wouldn't even need access to the rest of your base. They could just have that little view that you make for them that has all of their current assignments. So it could be current assignments that like brand new ones as well as maybe ones that, that that you revised and you want to give back to them so you can create views like that just for them and this kind of sneaks around Airtable's way of not providing a great front-end prototype for like logging in having people log in access certain data log back out that kind of stuff but you can provide some of these custom views that way people know what they need to work on they have all the information that they need. So that can be a great resource for you if you're interested in that. And that's something I built many times for SEO agencies and marketing departments alike. Now, even if you don't want to be like repurposing content or be using this as a project manager, I think it still is very useful to have something like this, especially the assets. And it doesn't always have to be, an asset doesn't always have to be like an attachment. You could have a long text field. So like if I added one to the right here, or I guess it would be better in the post, but if I added one to the right here, say you don't want to use Google Docs, you can just add a long text field and you can even enable rich text formatting. And you can create that field and maybe you have all of your copywriting in here. I think it's really great to have something like this where you can say, okay, the, these were our sales during this month. Maybe marketing had something to do with it. Well, we only posted one Facebook post and we only posted this other thing. So maybe that's why we had low sales. And then the next month you post three Facebook posts and three Instagram posts and you double your sales. It, you can use it for some kind of predictions like that. Like, okay, this is how many, how much I need to post. And this is like the direct ROI that I'm kind of trying to see. Obviously you're not always going to get a hundred percent like independent or dependent variables, but this can be something really useful for you to do some of that research in your own business. This can also allow you to get a good snapshot, snapshot of what's been posted as well as what will be posted in the future. So, Maybe you wanna come over here and you wanna create a calendar view, so the date posted. So maybe you have this date posted or maybe you have in this view, in this first view, maybe you have a future date in here as well. So maybe for this one, we'll pick like a few days from now. So now in our calendar, if we come to today, then we'll be able to see, okay, these are, these are the posts coming up and if you're maybe missing posts, if you know, hey, I need to get this many posts out, then you'll be able to say, okay, these are the posts that I need to make to make sure that I hit my sales goals. So really a marketing asset manager like this, like this Airtable that you see up here, it can really provide you so many benefits, whether it's like project management, planning for the future posts, analyzing your SEO data or any like any measurable data like likes or comments or views or watch time or anything on any of your social media content that you can get, you can pull that kind of stuff in here and analyze it. It's really great for that.
Another thing is just if you want to be reusing content, if you say, okay, after a year, after something's been posted for a year, maybe I want to reuse it. You can see, okay, what's been posted over a year ago. And you can come back in here and see what that was. So it's really great for, there's so many things that you can get organized with your marketing content, whether you're an SEO agency and you manage multiple people's SEO, a social media management agency manage multiple people's, you can have stuff automatically posted. Like for example, I automatically will post this YouTube video on Facebook pages, on LinkedIn pages and on Twitter as soon as this post, as soon as this video goes live. So you probably missed it, but you might be able to see one tomorrow or later today if I haven't posted one yet today. So I think it can be really great. If you're interested in any of this, there's a link in the description to request a consultation with me or someone on my team. And if you're interested in using Airtable maybe just a little bit more and are curious how to run some basic automations to save you time in your workflow and you're really just curious about the, those automations in Airtable to do that for you, go click this end screen right here. It'll teach you all about Airtable automations, everything you need to know to get started with Airtable automations. So I highly encourage you to do that. If you're interested in anything else, click the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.